This trend is blowing up on Etsy and it has actually always been around, but I have never seen it making bestsellers the way it is right now. And this trend is florals, usually like a florally pattern inside text. So it's clipping mast inside a text. You can see this one here. It was listed less than a month ago and it's already a bestseller. Everbee can't even pick up on all the sales because they grabbed the sales from the previous month, but this has become a bestseller within one month of being listed. We have this one here also listed in the last 30 days you can see here list age one month and that is the shortest time frame you can see so this was listed less than a month ago and it is already a bestseller and usually in the everbee stats you can't exactly see the total amount of sales here yet because that's for the last month but if we open our everbee tool and we go to product analytics we can scroll down and we can see in the last 30 days since this first made its first sale on may 1st or April 30th was its first. It has had 49 sales in the last 30 days and it was only listed in the last 30 days. We have this one here. It looks very similar to the last one I just showed you, but this one actually says Nana and that one said Mama. So slight differences, reaching different audiences. Also listed in the last month and a bestseller already with 15 sales as of May 9th. We have this bestseller, looks very similar, Mama with a floral background. And these don't just apply to Mama. These were just things I found on the first page of looking up Mama shirt, but these are covering a bunch of different niches, different careers, different hobbies, different names someone calls themselves, Gigi, Grandma, any type of name that you can think of. And you can change the background to match the niche. It is very rare that I see a trend like this that is creating so many bestsellers so fast when all of them more listed in the last month. So this is a perfect one to hop on because obviously this seems to be a spring slash summer trend and we are just in spring right now going into summer. So I do not see these slowing down. So the next question you might be asking is how do I even create these? And today I'm going to show you how you can make these in Kittle. The first thing you need to do is find that pattern that you actually want to show through the text. So I want to do a tool version of this. I've seen these doing really well for other niches, but again, you can try with multiple different patterns. So many different florals are just kicking off right now. And if you check in my description, I do have a link for 10 free downloads or 30 free days, whichever comes first. And you can just search up the type of pattern you like. And once you find one that you like, once you are paying for the subscription service, which is very cheap or using your free trial, you can grab one of these and you are able to download these. And then we're going to bring it into Kittle. So as of right now, both Canva and Kittle do not have a clipping mask feature, which we need to kind of create a product like this. But I found a workaround within Kittle. So if you want to make this and Kittle is the only tool that you have and you don't want to leave the platform, don't worry, you are able to do it in Kittle. There's just a few workarounds. So I'm going to walk you through that. So first things first, we're going to need our text. And for this, I usually like Tricot. When we are doing the research right within Etsy itself, I noticed a lot of the text that was doing well was this thick serif font. So I just look a bold, but again, if you would like to use this exact font that I have selected here, this is the tricot textile. And I just move the text a little bit closer. And then it's up to you if you want to add an arc to this. Sometimes I see these doing really well as well. So you can add a slight bend to that. Then what I'm going to do is I actually want to add a little bit more transformation to this. And if I want to do a border later on, you are going to need to actually grab this file here. And then we're actually just going to export this as a PNG file. And we're going to hit export and we're actually just going to drag this back in. So if you don't want to add an outline later on, you actually don't need to do this step. You can just use it with the plain text right here. But another thing you can do is if you have this exported version, meaning this is now turned into pixels, what you're able to do is you can actually hold shift and you can reshape this a little bit. And I actually often like where things are a little bit taller, a little bit more stretched out. And I find a lot of the other bestsellers I see are kind of in this style where it's a little taller than it is wide. So I like to do this part and I'm not going to need this text version anymore. We are going to be using this version. Once I'm happy with my shape and my text, I'm just going to duplicate this artboard just so when I apply the pattern, I can actually go back and reuse this file again to apply a different pattern. And we're also going to come back to this file here to add an outline. But for right now, we're going to use this duplicated artboard to apply our pattern inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back and grab that pattern that you wanted and you are going to place it into your file here and then you're going to 
right click and then we're going to hit use as texture. And then one thing you need to make sure is that this texture at the side here is on normal. It should be, but mine lately has been saving as multiply. So we're going to set it to normal. And then I'm going to hit this checkbox here, which says mask texture. And now we can see that the texture is inside of our text here and you can move it around until you are happy with the design here. And now we're going to export this page, download this project. We're going to save artboard for whatever you call this one. And I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And I'm going to remove the background. So I don't have this background part saved. So now you can see here that when I re bring in this file, now I don't have a white background. I have my pattern within the text right here. So a lot of people might just continue as this, but a lot of the best sellers that I also see have a border to this. And unfortunately the border here on kill right now does not seem to be working. It was working before, but if it, it's just my Kittle or if yours is the same, the way to add a border more manually is to re-grab this text that we had before, which should be the exact same shape as we previously had. We're going to paste that in. Then I'm going to vectorize it. And now once it's vectorized, now I'm going to add the border. So you can make this as large, as small as you would like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up perfectly with my other text. And you might have to just resize it. And then you can play with the thickness. You can change the color of the border until you are happy with the way that it looks. And now we're going to export this final version, or you can add in some text underneath, some text on top, however you want your final design to look. And then you're going to export this again as a transparent PNG file. And now when you are creating a listing with this design on Etsy, the number one, in fact, all of the best sellers that we previously looked at were all on the Comfort Colors 1717, which is available through Printify and how I get these into my store. Printify is my main supplier, actually my full supplier now, who prints and ships all of my products so that I actually don't have to ever print these myself. I don't ever have to touch any inventory. Printify does that for me. So I can go find the Comfort Colors 1717, and then we're going to hit Start Designing. Then I can go ahead and select the different colors that I want this to be available on for my customers. I'm going to hit Save Product, and then you can hit Publish. And whether you have a Shopify store or an Etsy store, and you have it connected to Printify, it's going to show up as a listing or a product. And then you can go into your platform and just add your photos, add your titles, add your tags, anything needed for someone to come and purchase from you. And then when they purchase that, Printify will automatically pick up that you got a sale and they will print and ship this product for you. So if you want to make this trend, watch this tutorial. You might have to watch it once or twice to really get down how to use this in Kittle. But once you figure it out, I promise it just becomes second nature and you can just pump these out like crazy because again, they're doing so well on Etsy that I highly recommend if it fits within your store to try adding these at this time. If you want to see what other trends are blowing up on Etsy, according to Etsy for both summer and spring 2025, watch this video here. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week.